the Relativity of Paper. Thanks for joining me today. Quick card process um, here for you. I'm using some rubber stamps from Some More Fun. I'll link those for you. They're called Nippon Post Stamps. I'm also going to be using a stamp positioning tool, some 110 pound Nina cardstock, some Memento inks in Toffee Crunch, Teal Zeal, Rosebud, and Bamboo Leaves. Now to do this, I'm just going to randomly stamp each stamp several times using the colors. I'm going to fast forward through this part and then we'll pick back up and do some heat embossing and play with some perfect pearls. So now we're going to do some heat embossing. So there are two things I want to share with you about heat embossing. One, the anti-static powder tool that you just saw me using is a must. It helps to eliminate all those little stray flecks of embossing powder that are left behind sometimes. Second, preheat your heat gun. Once you have your heat gun preheated, you don't have to hold it to your paper as long and it causes less warping of your paper. So those are two tips that I found made a huge difference in my heat embossing. So to add a little bit more interest to the front of our card, I'm going to be using a Hello Stamp from my stash and I'm going to be stamping that using Memento Ink in Teal Zeal, Rich Cocoa, and Olive Grove. Once we finish stamping the Hello, we're going to then take this to the Big Kick and die cut it. And once we have it die cut, we're bringing it back. We're going to lay down a little more anti-static powder, not a lot, just a bit. And I'm going to do some more random stamping, and we're going to use some Perfect Pearls. Now, the Perfect Pearls is a great way to add a subtle touch to your card. When you see me using it here, you're really not going to see it while it's laying flat. But now, once you pick your card up and you start to move it around, you'll see it has this beautiful shimmer you can see it and I'm using the white in the perfect pearls and I also add a little bit of gold to it so that it would stand out a little bit more so I'm going to take a rag and I'm going to lightly wipe off any of the excess perfect pearls that were left behind I'm going to finish stamping around the edge filling in a few places I'm using the hello stamp with some rosebud there on the side and I'm going to go in with some toffee crunch and add that to the top and a little bit of perfect pearls also so I'm also going to grab a tiny little stamp that I have from an, um, my stash and it's a squiggly line with some dots on it and you'll see me filling in some spots there so we have a card base that measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches with a top fold we have a piece of craft card stock that we die cut and we added some fun foam to the back of that and we're going to center that on our card base we're also then going to add some adhesive to the back of our stamped cardstock and center that up on top of the craft cardstock for our sentiment i printed it out on my printer and then i just die cut it with a banner die cut i'm going to add some 3d mounting foam to the back of it and adhere it to the front of the card to finish up, we're just going to take some glossy accent, add to the back of some sequins, and place them randomly on the card front, and we're done. And I probably should have named this Everything But The Kitchen Sink because we did a lot on this card, but it was so worth it. I love the way it turned out, and I really appreciate you guys, and I appreciate you joining me, and I hope you have a great day. Mm -hmm.